Hello everybody, what is up? I hope you guys are having a great day. Today I'm going to be showing you how you can make these awesome stop motion letter effects and transitions and animations using a free pack from Cinepax. So let's go ahead and get right into it. Go on over to Cinepax.com, over to the free pack section. Today we're using the letter effects and the title cards effect. And after you throw that in your cart and fill out any information, you can put whatever you want here. Your download will be ready shortly. Once you have your zip files downloaded, make sure that you open them up and either drag all the files outside of the folder or extract all to make sure you're able to use them for DaVinci Resolve. Then over here in DaVinci Resolve, just find it in your media tab and drag them over here into your media pool and we are ready. So in the title card effects pack, we have some looping backgrounds, which are all 4K that we can kind of mess with, as well as some title cards, which are animated loop that also have transparency built into them. So we can just drag and drop. There's also a few PNG stills that you can mess with. Um, and the same thing goes for the letter effects pack over here. So if we open up the alphabet, you can see we've got one of each letter. If you get the full pack, there's multiple versions of each letter that we can all mess with. Um, and we can also mess with numbers as well and a few different symbols as well but to customize these even further we can just drag one of these letters in and if you want to you can go right over to the color page and just mess with the hue over here in the colors panel and if we mess with the hue we can easily change that red to whatever other color I kind of want to find a green right there is perfect and we can even mess with the saturation or whatever kind of color variation we want to mess with but as you can see then we can kind of make a lot of different combinations and colors from this pack now let me show you guys how you can make your custom animated titles out of these things. We don't even have to go into Fusion to do this. It's pretty simple with everything that we have here. So let's just take like a solid looping background. Um, let's see, I, I like this one. And we'll just drag this right onto the timeline. Go ahead, zoom on in. And these are completely loopable, so I want this to go a little bit longer. So I'm going to hold down Alt, drag this out, and just do it a few times just to kind of create our base background that now we can mess with for a cool choppy title sequence that we're going to make. There are markers to show where we can cut and loop these animations, but unfortunately they don't show up in DaVinci, but it's still super easy to do. Let's just drag this in right on top, and easy, that already looks really cool. But then right when it kind of starts going to the outro animation, let's use our arrow keys to find where it stops, right, right about there, as you can see. It starts breaking apart so let's go ahead and cut it right there then let's cut the beginning as well so let's go a few keys over right before it starts doing its intro animation right there right there all right so that's where it also loops so if we go ahead and click Control b while we have that selected it will cut it and now as you can see we have just a perfect clip of this looping perfectly so let's just go ahead and drag this out and now that we've duplicated it you can see that we can just have it loop twice all right perfect now if we want it to actually have its exit animation we can just drag it out to the end and it'll finish seamlessly with its exit now let's go ahead and animate some letters to make a title now you can do whatever you want with these you can like animate them add effects to them do whatever you want but today I'm just gonna be animating them all by hand and taking a little bit of time because I think those look the best. So I'm gonna go over to our timeline options and just shrink down the video quite a bit because we're gonna be layering a lot of text on here. So let's go over to our alphabet and I'm gonna spell out murder because that's all I can think of. Um, but let's go ahead and put down an M, put down a U and get the rest over here. All right, as you can see, M-U-R-D-E-R, -E we've got murder spelled out here. So let's go ahead and select all of these and let's just shrink them down using the zoom key here. And let's drag them all over here. That way we can kind of lay them out. So I'm just gonna select them one by one, go over to our transform and kind of move them out. Click each one by each layer and let's see how we can arrange them. Just take the time to lay them out with your transform keys however you want. Click on each layer and make sure you have them sized how you'd like. All right, and there it is. I'm content with that layout. Now, make sure you have everything laid out to where you want it. That way you can keyframe all of them and have them animate into those positions. So to do that, let's start with the M right here. I'm gonna find a spot where I want it to pop in right around there, give it a keyframe, and then I'm gonna go to the front of that clip 
and I'm going to just move it out of frame, give it a little bit of rotation. That way when we press play, it'll animate in. Now go ahead and do that same thing for each of the letters and offset the time a little bit so they all kind of pop in at once. All right, so if I play that through, you can see everything pops into place. Now, I don't really like how slow the D comes in. So a little tip, guys, if you come over here and click on the keyframe button in your timeline, it will show you the transform keyframes. So I can go ahead and just drag the latter one over and press play, and you can see it all comes together a little bit better. All right, now what we can do is drag all of those over, right click on them, and create a new compound clip. Now by doing this, we can go over to our effects library and add stop motion, which is actually under the open effects tab right there. And if we drag it in, put it on top of that, you can see it starts to slow it down just a little bit. I'd like to get a little bit more of a stop motion effect. So let's go over here, have it repeat 10 frames and see how that looks. As you can see, there we go. It kind of gives it a more choppy feel. Furthermore, we can also go and maybe add a camera shake camera shake to it and if I drag that on top of this compound clip you can see we have this cool little throbbing shaking effect right there I don't want to personally animate each individual letter shaking because then that gets a little bit too hard to read and there we go guys we have some awesome hand animated title sequences there but a quick extra tip for you guys if you don't want to hand animate the letters leaving as you can see they just pop off right now what you can do is chop this down just a little bit and hold down alt to drag this out all right and then right click on it go to change clip speed and reverse the speed that will invert the two clips that way it will loop the outro but do it backwards so if we play this through it goes straight through and then in the end of it everything will animate outwards because you already animated them coming in in the first place so all you got to do is reverse the speed and they'll come and exit perfectly so anyways guys i hope you enjoyed this tutorial there's definitely plenty that you can mess around with in this pack you can even use the still images to make some cool things in like Photoshop for thumbnails and anything else that you can possibly imagine. If you guys do want the full size pack, I have an awesome code for you, SAMPLE15. Type that in during your checkout at cinepacks.com and you will get 15% off your order. These are definitely worth it, super cool and fun to mess with. So anyways guys, happy editing, peace, and have a great day.